Hi there everyone, this is Liz, a warm welcome. It's Monday again and I'm going to do a new intuitive energy update. Uh, I will tune in to my spiritual light team and see what they want to, to tell us. And I'm sure if you're here listening, there are probably messages that you need to hear at this moment. So pay attention to the symbolic messages or the words that they are saying. I will take a few seconds to tune in and then I'll start. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so they are showing me a frame, you know, that kind of frame that you use to uh, frame artwork or pictures with and you hang them on the wall. And they are telling me that it's time to frame your life, to structure your life in a way that you want it to be. So, you know, a frame can feel both restricted or... or um, um, what do you say? <laughs> um, just full of more concentrated energy of yourself simply. And that's the, the framework that they are talking about. The later uh, reason is to structure your life in the most um, um, in the most beneficial, positive energy that you want your life to be in. <clears throat> Um, because we can kind of be very floating sometimes, especially spiritual people can kind of lose um, the groundness and focus on everything that has to do with higher energy and higher um way of thinking of course we should have that but it's need to as long as we have a physical body it needs to be um, so-called framed in the physical body to be able to work to be able to manifest here on earth and yeah the body is changing and becomes much more lighter at this um, time um, since uh, the golden era that we've <clears throat> been stepping into. But uh, we are still supposed to bring the body and bring in more light to the body and integrate the soul energy much more into that. And when they are talking about framing your life, uh, it, it's... it's um, it's about seeing the fractals and the particles that you consist of and put that together into a painting and then frame it. So if you, <clears throat> if you look back at your life, at everything that you have experienced, what has influenced you to become who you are today, what you've been through and what you have healed, what you have come out from and what you have implemented you know all these particles fractals that's the word i'm getting all these pieces of you are not coincidences they are there to teach you something they are there to help you grow they are there to let you expand in the direction that your soul have chosen you to um, um, to walk on that path that your soul has chosen for you, meaning <laughs> the path that you yourself have chosen <laughs> at one point. So it's time to frame all that. <clears throat> and they kind of uh, given me the Mm, the symbolism of, a, of an artwork and all the colors and they say make sure it is colors that you actually want in your life 
of course we always as a as a spiritual person or if you're into personal development you always look at those things and you're aware of <clears throat> yourself many times and also aware of what's happening in your life and you might even feel this is good for me or this is not good for me but they are kind of asking you to be much more clearer about this to hire the the colors that you want in your in your framework in your painting because i'm seeing only brighter colors there but they are still supposed to be um, grounded and implemented into your physical life and that's also how you will manifest things because if if you're a big thinker if you're an analyst if you are uh, constantly thinking and thinking and thinking and trying to figure out life only from thinking that won't lead you anywhere more than in completely scattered <laughs> Um, directions all the time you have to anchor the good thoughts you have to anchor the energy into your body to be able to change something in your life <clears throat> and when you do so especially when you're energetically aware of how much um, energy affects our life because everything is energy then you will um, manifest things much more easily you know there's a reason for why so many energetic aware people um, are um, more drawn to the higher realms and, and drawn to feeling um, more enlightened and uh, more love and uh, more connected to the universe to the universe within or without you know um, there's a reason for that of course because we have a higher perception or memory about where we are coming from as a spiritual person or as an aware person that you are a soul you are more aware of where you're coming from and therefore you are more easily drawn to um, easier paths what you think is an easier path and and if you look at your if i look at someone's um, uh, energy field uh, when they are spiritually aware there's a very common um, thing for them to have a very um, up, uplifted <laughs> or concentrated or our energy field upwards instead of being grounded and it's also much more harder for them to to implement their soul path and and uh, what they really want to do in life because um they constantly miss the grounding part and the physical body the soul's integration into the physical body so and the time has come since we are ascending this is a slow process the ascension that that everyone is talking about is a slow process because the body needs to get used to the new energies and the, and the new frequencies so just keep on living that's the greatest mes message that i often hear my guides say and they say it now as well just keep on living and keep on creating your life uh, the only the only thing is that the new frequencies that comes in and charge our body and change our cells um, that will happen over time so it's not something that will happen overnight i'm sorry 
I'm sorry if um, if you think that one single event or so will will suddenly um, shift <clears throat> everything for you and your reality. It's not going to do that, but it's already you know it's already enough. They say it's more like we can't we took we <laughs> we as humans as long as we have the the physical body, we uh, we need to take it step by step, and it is it is a constant change, and we are constantly being charged with the the uh, new frequencies, with new um, energies that help us transform. So the most important message regarding this ascension is keep on living your life and keep creating and changing, be flexible, um, because eventually you will, um, you will actually be exactly where you're supposed to be. You always are, of course. But since it's a big transition that Earth are going through right now and you doing that as well within you, um, This is something that affects you greatly all the time. So don't get stuck in, in any waiting for something, for, for something to happen. Uh, don't get stuck in um, um, what you think is going to come over there a bit ahead next month, next week or, or in six months or in, in one year. Don't get stuck in that kind of thinking. Create, integrate the new energy and create in the now. That's how you also lift your energy and raise your vibration to much higher uh, frequency. So you integrate the soul energy and the source much more within you, within the physical body, because the physical body is going with you on this journey. And the more you can uh, ground yourself and frame your life as you go, you will not feel this um, mm, um, they're showing me like big waves like this, like it can feel very um, traumatic sometimes or overwhelming is the word I'm looking for, overwhelming both emotionally and physically. Um, and that's when you uh, are too much in the energy of um, racing outside of you instead of inside of you. So you are going to be your own master and integrate high frequencies from within and out. And this takes grounding, this takes um, patience, it takes love, it takes um, um, for you to to hold your own hand and lead you through all these changes with comfort, support and and um, uh, a big trust and belief. So um, yeah, that's very important. And when you frame your energy and when you look at everything that has created you, all these particles, all these uh, fractals of yourself in this multi-dimensional reality, right? Um, you realize that you are, you're all and nothing in the same time, you know? Yeah, your, your body can get dissolved, and you will still continue to live. You're everything through your consciousness, 
your everything when you think of your connection to the source and to the universe. But then again, your your nothing when it comes to um, identities that you have imposed on yourself or that ha others have imposed to yourself. Uh, that is only temporary build-ups um, that can sometimes help your physical life to live here on earth but it can also uh, destroy your life if you are identifying yourself too much with <laughs> certain identities simply um, roles that you have taken on they are fleeting and especially at this time roles and um, false identities are um, almost like you can take them in your hand and <laughs> and they just okay so that's <laughs> that's that part of me she's gone <laughs> okay i don't want to be him anymore why why did i stay like that for so long well that's of course a reason but i know you can have this you know you can have these questions coming up inside of you and suddenly you just feel ready now to let go of something <laughs> and it can be actually as easy as that because you have come so far and if you feel that you haven't you know you can always judge yourself and feel i haven't got so far or i haven't managed to do this and this and this and this forget about all that structures when it comes to roles and identities and what you think accomplishments look like Feel the connection to the source and grow the strength from within and anchor it, frame it, structure it in your everyday life and constantly create and become. Just become. <laughs> okay, so they also saying, well, pick that down a, a bit to everyday life as well. Yeah, so when, when I'm talking about becoming, um, become, become who you already are and what your inner voice uh, wants to lead you into, So, becoming more of yourself will have a greatly impact on your everyday life and on you as a person and what, what choices um, that you will make. Becoming more of yourself is going to to help you and I'm not talking about being self-absorbed of course I don't know why I'm even saying that but it might be someone who wants to or needs to hear hear it becoming more of yourself doesn't mean becoming self-absorbed all right becoming more of you is becoming more authentic in your energy becoming more of who you truly are so you easily more easily feel what is right and not right for you um, so you can more easily focus on um, supportive energy of um, uh, the projects that you that you feel a passion for or everything that kind of um form <laughs> you know the essence of who you are 
that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying becoming more of you. Uh, so the time ahead now and why I'm speaking of this now, it feels like this spring is going to be a huge start for so many people, for so many of you in in probably in different areas from the beginning, in different areas of your life. For some of you, it's going to be <laughs> every area at the same time. And for some of you, it's going to be in, in one area that you might have neglected or that you have been feeling stuck in. You know, it will start there, but it feels like this spring is going to be such a new start for for so many people and i almost want to say and i'm going to say it <laughs> for for forget about what you hear in the news can't you just uh, make yourself a promise here and now to not watch news for like five or six weeks that what comes up in my mind don't watch news for five or six weeks. Why? Why are you saying that? Um, because it will distract you from your new beginning. And you might think, well, I'm, a, I'm an aware person. I know that I'm not going to take that energy in and I know what's truth and I know what's false. And I know what I want to focus on in my life. But do that fully then. Do that fully. Focus on what's good for you. For five to six weeks, try not to choose what's destructive. Try not to... to watch or be part of something that feels confusing. And again, I know you might think that I'm not confused up here. <laughs> I know what's right. <laughs> but energies are still energies. And what you focus on is what, what still remains you know in your sphere in your in your aura in your everything that you are um, so it's of course it's just a suggestion but i would strongly recommend it five or six weeks where you where you only focus on what's good for you supportive what's positive um, when it comes to your thoughts, your mind and your feelings. And then also what you take part of, what kind of relationships that you, that you interact with in your ev everyday life. What are they supporting? Are they supporting your, your, your essence and your true self? Or are they keeping your old behavior patterns? Are they keeping you stuck in those? Um, so, and when it comes to the news and when it comes to the work, um, and yeah, I, I do know um, that, that, you know, that the money situation for people at, 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 at it is right now, it might um, mean that you're going to a work at the moment, at least, at least today, that you absolutely don't love 100%. And if that's the case, focus on how you view that job, that work, how your mindset is about it. Because if you can transform your mindset about the, the work situation that, that you are in now, 
if you can change that mindset to a positive one, you will end up in a good position. If you don't like your work, you will end up somewhere else because of you changing your mindset. So this is um, also applicable to relationship. You know, if you don't take time to heal yourself between relationships, um, when you have had a divorce or, or anything like that, if you don't take time to ground yourself in yourself properly again, um, you know, you will still, um, you will still carry old stuff with you to the next person or, or, you know, into your own future, whatever you choose to do. If you, if you're doing, if you're doing a, a future of your own or with someone else. So, and that when it, when it comes to work situation, it's like that as well, kind of change your mindset about um, that situation. That's also how you can still affect what you, what you feel that you still need to be in, at least today. <laughs> we want to remind you, okay, it's like this today, but everything can happen tomorrow, right? Everything can happen in five hours or tomorrow or the day after. So try to live as much as you can in the now and create in the now. <laughs> okay. So let's see if there is anything else before I finish the video. I'm, I'm just seeing a lot of joy, like invite joy um, and happiness into your home. Uh, they kind of show me a home area where you live. Um, there's so much different kind of energies that can, can happen and be felt in your home and they're saying bring in happiness into your home because if you spend a lot of time somewhere you know you want that energy to be good there and and your home is supposed to be your base where you actually feel that you can be free to be yourself to relax to enjoy whatever you like to enjoy. Mm, so I'm kind of seeing, and it's a, kind of a symbolic image as well, you know, the environment that we have um, the closest to us. And that's, that's usually our home, right? Unless we, <laughs> unless we live on work or sleep in a work office, our home is the environment that are closest to us and are supposed to feel safe and loving and, and calm and happy. Um, so, and if you're not satisfied with your own living situation, remember the mindset, it, it's everything. You change your mindset. Everything can happen tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So that will be the last word from us today. I hope it resonated with you. And if not, you can also look at last week's video. It might still be something that you need to hear that there. So I wish you a really good week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.